What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Art Crypto, the birthplace of absolutely legendary gains. In this video, it's just going to be a very quick video telling you that we might potentially be seeing a $5,000 or $6,000 Ethereum soon and why I am going to explain that this is not some moonshot prediction and I have my reasons for saying so. If you want to figure out exactly what I mean when I'm trying to say this, then make sure you stick around to the end of the video. But before I get into it, if you haven't already followed me on Twitter at underscore the art of crypto, you're going to want to do so. This is where I'm sharing like the latest market updates. For example, I shared this piece from my private Discord group where I give all the real time market updates. So if you want to get, you know, just real time market updates as well as any coins that I might be looking at, including Ethereum, which I mentioned on Twitter before filming this video, as well as I might potentially be opening up the monthly subscription. So if that's something you are interested in, you know, the monthly subscription for the private Discord group, then you are going to want to follow me on Twitter because more likely than not, I will give the instructions to sign up on the monthly subscription on Twitter. So again, if that's something you're interested in, make sure you follow me at Twitter on underscore the art crypto. So right now, let's get into why I think Ethereum is absolutely about to pop off. So right now, where I am at is on the weekly chart. And I don't know about you, but the weekly chart is a fairly, fairly high time frame. I would say it's one of the highest time frames. And I I don't know about you, but I would say that anything that happens on such a high time frame is likely to be, you know, pretty valid and very high conviction. So the higher the time frame, right, more often than not, the things that come out of you know, the result of doing your analysis on a higher time frame is that you get much more confirmed, you know, analysis. And more importantly, you get much more bigger moves out of a higher time frame, right? Because there's only so much that you can do on like, for example, the 15 minute or one hourly. But right now we are looking at the weekly. In fact, usually I even look at things on the daily, but this time we're looking at things on the weekly. So this is going to be big. Let's just say that. So right now, what you have on the weekly chart on Ethereum is a cop and handle which means basically from this from ever since may right may the 10th of this year and if you guys remember that's during the uh you know the catastrophic crash right the big crash ethereum has been forming this kind of a consolidation against bitcoin pretty much for the last six months and if you know anything about trading or if you've been following my channel for a while i always like to say that firstly round the bottom to pay the bills right and this right here is what you call a round the bottom because Again, um, actually, talking about rounded bottoms, if you want a step-by-step -step strategy, right, where I lay down the rules and the exact indicators that you should use in order to make about 50 to 100% every month, and I'm not, that's not clickbait, right? I'm not trying to promise you some uh, some weird fantasy. You can actually make 50 to 100% every month by following that strategy right there. It's going to be a pretty foolproof strategy. So if that's something you're interested in, I want you to go to the video on the top right-hand corner, which I will link but otherwise, round the bottoms, right? If you want to know exactly how to spot a round the bottom as well as how to trade around the bottom, you know, that, that video just now, it's going to be for you. But round the bottoms pays the bills, right? The reason is because right, nothing happens for the longest period of time, right? And then all of a sudden you start a parabola, right? This right here is sort of your base three of the parabola, right? You could say this is like zero, that's one, that's two, like you get the idea. And the thing about parabolas is, you know, they start off really slow and then they start, you know, really taking off, which means that right now, if we do break out of this cup and handle right here, this is going to be sort of like phase, like base four of the parabola. And potentially, right, potentially, it wouldn't be a stretch to say that you're going to go back to 0.1 ETH per Bitcoin, right? Which based on current Bitcoin, you know, valuations at the moment, that's going to be about 5,500 per Ethereum to maybe 0.12, which is going to be about 6,500 per ethereum it's really not a stretch to say that you know if ethereum could do this right here from about 0.03 up to 0.08 there is no there is nothing holding ethereum back from doing something like this again right which is going to put it at about 0.17 per bitcoin which again i don't think it's going to happen that quickly but hey it's a crypto bull market you never know what can happen but you know you look at twitter and you see all these people talking about a ten thousand dollar ethereum a twenty thousand dollar ethereum you know, they might have some kind of a basis to that, right? It's not going to happen immediately, but, you know, basically for the last uh, two years, basically, right? Since January of 2020, we have been in a parabolic, you know, parabolic, you know, shape for Ethereum and, you know, you know, potentially in the first six months to 12 months of 2022. So things are about to start, right? Things are about to start. And I just want you guys to be prepared for this. In the event that we really do get to 0.17, 
you know, ETH, that's easily going to put it above $10,000, right? Because for example, in, in, for example, like six months, there is no way, there is no way that Bitcoin is just going to be still sitting at about 56,000, right? More likely than not, it's going to be sitting at about 80,000, maybe even 90,000. And in the event that you really do get here, right? That's going to put Ethereum at like 15,000 or something, right? Again, not moonshot, but just giving you like the possibilities right here because cup and handles tend to be very explosive moves. If you guys watch my videos in the past, you remember that I called LRC, right? Usually at the end of videos, I tend to include sort of like a bonus trade so that you guys can, you know, have some incentive to stay till the end of the video. And for those of you guys who stay until the end of the video, you see that this right here is a perfect example of a rounded bottom cup and handle, bam, right? This is the kind of move that comes out of a cup and handle. Am I saying that Ethereum against Bitcoin is going to generate that big of a move? Well, not necessarily because it's such a large cap, but nevertheless, I just want to paint the picture that it is absolutely possible for a move like that to happen. And if we want to figure out exactly, you know, where the top could be, then you can see exactly right here, 0.12, that lines up exactly with the 2.618, right? 0.1, that lines up with, you know, pretty much the 1.618 and 2. And then you have the rest of the levels, which means like this, this right here, absolutely very possible, right? Very possible. So I really do not like at least 0.1 per Ethereum, right? 0.1 Ethereum per, like you, you get the idea, is absolutely possible. And just that alone is going to put Ethereum at about 5K to about 5,500, right? Potentially 6,000, right? So do not sleep on Ethereum. Ethereum is about to start. And if you know anything about crypto, you know that the crypto market is, you know, cyclic, right? So if I just go to the encyclopedia, which is something that you will get access to if you are in the private Discord group. So again, if you want to get access to, you know, the trading education where I teach you guys, uh, you know, basically everything that I know, then you're going to want to check out the link in the description below and sign up there. But otherwise, you know, the money flow in crypto, right? It goes from Bitcoin to large caps, to mid caps and to low caps. And then, you know, you have charts like a total two, which is, whoops, this is going, this is not going to be a very good chart to look at, right? Total two is basically, you know, all the altcoins. Um, I think the top 100 altcoins, if I'm not mistaken, right? Everything is included here. And Ethereum by itself takes up about like 20 or 25 percent, or not maybe not that much, but like 10 to 15 percent probably of the entire total two. And based off of that fact alone, Ethereum is pretty much like you know how Bitcoin is the mama bear for the entire crypto markets, whereby you know, if Bitcoin goes up, everything goes up. Well, Ethereum is sort of that thermostat, right? It's that mama bear for altcoins, right? When Ethereum is doing really well, you tend to see the other large cap cryptos do really well as well. So that, those large caps are going to be Polkadot, because it's going to be Chainlink, you know, Litecoin, um, XRP, Cardano, right? All of those guys have been pretty much been stable coins, right? That's pretty much a meme at this moment, right? Everyone's talking about how those coins are stable coins, basically. And that's because Ethereum has been consolidating for today are uh, stable, right? So once Ethereum starts moving, you're going to see these large caps follow as well. So you really want to pay attention to Ethereum against Bitcoin. And at the moment, I'm going to mark out this level, right? Which is at about 0.076, right? And I want you to mark out this level as well, because we're going to talk about how to trade this now, how to take advantage of this. So in the event that you do get a breakout of this level at 0.076, you're going to want to buy along with the breakout, right? So as it's going up, you know, you buy along with it, or you want to buy a bullish retest to buy the bullish retest of this trend line right here, which is going to come in at somewhere about 0.074, which I'm calling it advanced, yeah? So very likely you're going to get, right? So breakout, and then it's going to come back down to retest, right? Retest right here, and then it's going to start moving, right? And in this case, the first take profit target is going to be at 0 0.085, 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.1 and 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.12. So these are going to be the take profits that you are going to want to pay attention to Ethereum. I'm not saying that this level is going to hit, by the way, at least not that quickly, but I was just painting a picture for you. But you know, in the event that you do get there, uh, yeah, you know, mark it down, right? 0 0.14 and 0 0.174, right? In the event that you do get there, hey, take some profit, never hurts, right? you went broke take your profits so in this case this is going to be the entry that you want to look for for ethereum right so that you can take advantage of uh, and again if you do get into this trade because this is happening on the weekly chart expect to be in this trade for at least three to six months right otherwise 12 months i feel like that's something that you know a lot of beginners get wrong right is which is the expectation of time 
they feel like, oh, I'm in the weekly chart. It went up by 5%. That's my profit right there. No, you are on the weekly chart, which means your profit is like you are visualizing something way bigger than a mere 5%. And in the, like, let me paint a picture of how small 5% looks on the weekly chart. Right, that, that's it right there. That's it. Why would you be on the weekly chart trying to get 5%, right? You should be doing that on like the four hourly or something, right? So this is a swing trade for sure. But if you just want to take advantage of, you know, catching the entire move, which again, I shared a quote on my Twitter the last time where, you know, a lot of people, they look at, you know, coins pumping 20%, they look at coins pumping 50% or even 100% in a day. And they're like, why? Like, if these coins can pump that much in that short a period of time, why am I wasting time just buying coins and holding onto them? But here's the thing I want you to sort of think about. If you, you know, think with that approach whereby, you know, you see coins pumping, if I just catch every one of them, I'm going to be rich. Now, if you have that kind of a mindset, I want you to ask yourself right now, look yourself in the mirror and ask, how is that mindset treating you? Like, how is that mindset serving you right now? Do you find your portfolio to be going up a lot or has it been stagnating or worse, you know, it's been going down? And more often than not, right, people scoff at, you know, 200% gains in two months. But here's the thing, in, you know, in investing and trading, right, it's a long-term gains that matter. It's not really, like, everyone can get lucky and catch like a 5x in two hours, right? But only the true people, like, only the people who, who are successful in the long run right? It is the long-term numbers that really matter, right? It's about how much of a return can you generate consistently over a set period of time, which in this case, I would say over a year, right? For example, right? Or multiple years. So seriously, like the, like in the first place, you're not going to be able to catch all those coins that pump really, like really massively as well. You're not going to see it coming, right? And even if you do see it coming, you're not going to get the best entry. And even if you do get the best entry, you're not going to know exactly where's the top. So seriously, like stop thinking that swing trading is like for losers or whatever. If anything, right, the moment I was able to understand the shift of, you know, just zooming out, right, instead of trying to catch every little pump here and there, once I started zooming out and, you know, started swing trading, that's when I really saw the explosive growth of my account. And if that's you, that's something that, you know, I really want to urge you to sort of change the mindset. And if you agree with me in the comment section, right, just right down there, like agreed, you know, and if you found this helpful, right, this piece of information helpful, it would help me so much if you could drop a like button. It's a small gesture, but really helps me out a lot. And if you want to get access to, you know, basically everything that I've just teached right there, as well as, you know, get to pick my brain and exactly how I like to think about the markets, you're going to want to join the private Discord group over here. Not only are you going to get access to the encyclopedia, right, the trading education, you're going to get access to all the latest market updates for me, as well as any coins that I might be looking at as well as you know, follow along with my trades right here. And over here, we are basically making money every single day. So let's just say it's gonna pay itself off real quick, right? And yeah, look at this guy, 17X on his, yeah, that's just amazing. And by the way, 0.69 is a level that I sniped on sand. Right? It's a level that I called. So this guy is reaping. Yeah, this guy's just going crazy. Shout out to you, shout out to uni, man. Even I closed the trade early. I didn't keep it open for that long. So. In the event that you do get the breakout of this trade right here, you're going to want to take your profit 0.085 and 0.1, right? That's likely more than more likely than not, it's going to be the top for now, right? Otherwise, it's 0.12, which is going to give Ethereum a valuation against USD of about 5,500 to 6,500. So now let's try to figure out like what what are we looking for on Ethereum against USD, right? And that was on actually before I do that, I actually have to get bouncing real quick. So let's go back onto the daily chart and let's find an entry because I always like, I don't like to be overly, you know, biased towards any given direction. So I always like to give, you know, alternative entries in the event that you do get rejected. So I'm not saying this is going to hit again, absolutely not saying that this is going to hit, but in the event that you do hit this level, then, you know, these are going to be good levels for you to start dollar cost averaging into Ethereum at, right? Which is going to be at about 0 0.069 and 0 0.065. Right. I want you to mark down these two levels in the event that you do get rejected. I want you to place orders over there. And if you want to catch, you know, potentially a higher risk entry, then that entry is going to come at about 0 0.072, right? Before a breakout, right? These three levels, 0 0.072, 0 0.0692, and 0 0.0653 are the three levels that you're going to want to pay attention to on Ethereum Bitcoin in order to secure a good entry before the parabolic move upwards 
and trust me when I say that you are really going to want to do so. So now that you understand what is the bigger picture that is happening on Ethereum Bitcoin, then we can start moving to Ethereum USDT. And as you can see, this scenario that I've been that I drew out the last time has been playing out exactly, you know, pretty pretty closely, I would say. So in the event, like the um how it's going to reflect on Ethereum against USDT is going to be at about 3700 right in the event that you do get ethereum at about 3700 as well as 3500 3550 then that's going to be you know similar to the ethereum bitcoin chart and that is going to be the bottom before a move upwards to 5700 dollars right again i've marked this out on ethereum usdt already and these are going to be the levels to watch right 3800 3700 and 3550 which is in my honest opinion, where the bottom is going to come in at, right? In the event, especially at about 3700, right? If you do get it at 3700, it's going to be very close to the bottom, if not the bottom. And otherwise, 3550 is very likely to be the bottom. And, you know, God forbid, you know, something bad happens, 3400, right? So I hope that this video has been helpful to you and it has prepared you for you know what is potentially to come. And if that is indeed the case, then just drop a like button. It really helps me a lot. But otherwise, assuming that, you know, things are about to start taking off or in preparation for 2022, I'm actually opening up the monthly subscription for the private Discord group because I want to be able to help more people because I've been talking about it a lot in my private Discord group where I'm telling everyone, hey, these the last two months of 2021 is going to give us like some of the best entries that we are going to get heading into 2022 and i've been preparing people for this and i'm about to call about 10 you know 5 to 10 you know 10x to 25x maybe 50x coins that will happen in 2022 so that's why i'm opening up the monthly description so if that's something you're interested in i want you to really follow me on my twitter at underscore the art of crypto this is where you're going to get you know updates regarding that but otherwise if you're not interested in your monthly subscription which most people aren't then make sure you head to the link in the description below and join the private discord group for now do may the games be with you my friend and peace